Hello everybody and welcome to Predagast Plays, in fact my very first Let's Play video. So here we are at Planet Coaster with a time lapse. I'm building a park which I'm going to name Papillon Gardens and I wanted to start off with a food court using the brilliant modular system that comes built in with the game. Uh, it's looking absolutely superb and this is only the alpha. Uh, so I'm still learning very much, but I've been inspired by a lot of other people that are placing their Let's Play videos uh, up on YouTube, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. So uh, I'll keep dropping in and out of commentary as we go through. I have found that you really do need to lay the floor down on a building before you do much else uh, because there's nothing worse than having the interior completely grass. You'll notice here I do a quick fade uh, as I forgot to pause the game uh, so it was actually going through its day and night cycles uh, the night cycles can make it very difficult to make anything However, the night cycles are wonderful when you come to placing your lights and effects later on. At this point, I do start looking at the interior. There's nothing worse than having to take the roof back off a building. Uh, as I say, I wanted to make this a, a nice sort of food court type area, so there's some bathrooms, food shops, souvenir shops and uh, some milkshake shops. Uh, I wanted to get a nice pathway system in there as well, but I also wanted to create some sort of uh, area to look at, so that I made this sort of stage area on top of the burger bars. Uh, the signage is great, uh, quite a few of them give off some magnificent lighting effects, uh, so I, as you can see, try a few. Decide to put some shop faces just to add some colour, along with the uh, canapes. Canapes? Canopies? I don't think we're eating canapes from these shops. Sure, there'd be an absolute fortune in a theme park. Uh, and these little barrels make amazing planters. So that's added some rhododendron bushes and carried on just dressing round each of the shops. It's at this point I start trying to build the pathway system and I realise that everything is on just one level too much so the paths are appearing basically inside my floor which I didn't want I wanted them on top so I'm having to lift everything up uh, one layer which began to prove rather difficult as you'll see uh, while I'm laying these paths out uh, frustration is not the word for it uh, as I had to go back and look at everything and then the uh, pathways aren't 100% uh, user friendly just yet. I'll just call it user friendly. Uh, they are slightly annoying at the moment uh, as you'll see. I was finding it rather difficult to get the paths to uh, lock into position. I do have the 90 degree snap on so uh, they are only doing 90 degree angles. As you can see I just went underground there as I must have had some uh, remnants that I had to delete which were causing the paths not to form. Uh, round by the milkshake stands for some reason, again you'll see I go underground any second once I've taken this up and out. Uh, for the life of me I could not get the pathways to form on top of the uh, flooring. Uh, so in the end I gave up and we have a couple of ramps going down there we are underground just trying to get rid of whatever's there but I cannot find it but uh, the end effect in the end didn't turn out too bad so uh, I'm not going to complain too much at this point I may go back in the future and see if I can rectify it 
I begin to play with my first uh, nature scenery pieces now and this turned out I was very happy indeed. That pathway on top of the floor allows you to sink the greenery under, uh, allowed me to create some uh, indoor flower beds or displays. Um, when we go and do the walkthrough later on you'll see that the effect of those turns out very very nicely indeed I was very very happy started looking at some lighting now as we will once the roof's gone it goes very dark inside uh, I didn't want to pick anything that was too dramatic I didn't want anything to uh, pull for, away from it uh, and here I start sinking some of the uh, advertising signs they have into that wall and here comes the night cycle, you'll see the effect I was going for, I was very happy. As I said a little earlier, this is only the Alpha Access, we have to Planet Coaster. Uh, so there's only three themed uh, wall lights available in game at the moment, so uh, there's a lot of repetition. I do like these flaming torches, and these are the neon... Uh, big display parkan type things uh, and you can sink those underground which is great so you get the effect without the ugly actual uh, metal box itself starting to put a bit more of the roof on now in the areas that are blank interior or hidden behind and now look at this display area which I wanted to put the pirates treasure on uh, and try and light that up nicely as well. These are the little torches, the flaming skulls do a nice effect. So I begin to dress the roof now, although not too much as I do intend later on having a coaster run across that roof space. Uh, so we're uh, back to the front facade now. I'm not very good at this sort of thing, I don't uh, know anything at all about architecture so I'm totally making it up as I go along and seeing what I'm happy with. Um, there are some cracking windows, uh, doors etc available in game but everything is pirate themed or the planet coaster thing which is very very modern. So you have to play around with different shapes and different items and try mixing them up, sinking them, turning them to see what you can come up with. Uh, and I, I'm basically happy with the, the grand design of things. It is just a food court. Uh, it's not going to be the big centrepiece of the park. Uh, and it is really my, my first attempt at some proper theming. So... Uh, more flooring around the outside going down to create a four courts stroke display area and uh, these uh, lantern ropes are absolutely brilliant and again look excellent when you go first person and actually uh, walk around the park itself. Here I begin to add a bit more detailing, a bit more lighting and there's no terraforming in game as yet so you get a lot of these straight edges that you can't pull the ground up to meet so uh, using the nature scenery and sinking it you can hide a lot of these edges. I'm hoping when terraforming comes in there'll be some sort of brush palette that we can do this a lot quicker. Just adding a few of these tiny little display box up lighters and doing what I can with the odd little thing to make it uh, look a bit more alive. I should point out at this this moment that I have been playing the Roller Coaster Tycoon series back since March of 99 when the first one came out uh, but I played them for the game rather than the design concepts and I've never really looked at uh, 
the scenery, etc. And you can just plunk some rides down. Let's get the objectives done. There's the game played. Uh, so uh, having this, and I think the amazingly friendly way of building stuff and making your displays as they are uh, makes this game so much more immersive than the uh, the three previous uh, and although Roller Coaster Tycoon World is I was going to say due to drop nobody really knows about that one uh, Planet Coaster is the true successor with it coming from uh, the same dev team as Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Uh, what I've seen and I have played the early access of uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon World. Um, this is the one I've invested in uh, and intend to continue doing so. Well there's the lighted facade and very shortly I'll give you the walk through. What I did do for the walkthrough though is add my first ride and whirly gig, which you don't see in this, just so that some people would actually come into the park. So here's the walkthrough. I hope you've enjoyed my first Let's Build and uh, that you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel, Predagas Plays, and hope to see you soon when we continue with the build of Papillon Gardens. Take care.